Ah, good times. Extended break was required to uh, encode and upload some videos, as well as relax. I've already got comments going, Ah, this is, this is an awesome game! Oh my god, you're playing this! Ah! <laughs> How does that happen with, like, every game I put up, at least somebody's like, Oh my god! <laughs> well, maybe not Taboo, the Sixth Sense. <laughs> do 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 Okay. We don't need the time machine of Nintendo here. Sort of forgot what I was doing. Our, our 2,179 2, sheep are over cow, cow, crit, rawr, rawr, overcrowded and are stripping the pastures. No surprise there. I haven't been able to increase the size of my pasture land. I really hope that fucking fox... I don't remember exactly what that event was. Actually, you know what? I'll go ahead and check that. Ah, uh, where's my folder here? Game folder. Observe. Fox! Ah, uh, good. No, that's not exactly where it was. Women found a talking... 1333. Okay. In that case, it has been five years then, right? They had a feeling that the clan would see endless legal squabbles in the coming year. That's great. Signed magic diplomacy might be fucking necessary. Two to crops, one to herds, two to trade, one to mysteries. I'm thinking of, I was thinking of doing um, a quest this year, however, in light of what I've just been told, I'm a bit leery of doing so. I'll go ahead and assign one to diplomacy. And we'll hope things work out. Here we go. See! The farmers feel secure, the weapon thanes feel unshakable. I would too. The carls furrow the soil now, they will carve man furrows later. Goddamn fucking trickster. This planting season, yes, our feuds will have to wait until shit is planted. Got it. So, how's that fucking going? 35 hides of land. Mmm. I'm almost... I'm barely above minimum capacity. I really need to fucking chop down those goddamn fucking trees. Just wait, folks. There will come a day whenever I slaughter the trees. And it will be a good day. Filled with goodness. Hmm. <laughs> doesn't help that I have so much cattle. I could get rid of some of them. Uh, what did I plan on doing here? I think I was gonna build a great temple. Yes, yes. Eight cows, thirty sheep, five pigs, and thirty goods. I'm gonna go ahead and build a great temple, as uh, that is what Orlont. Nah. I don't need wood! Although deaths and wounds reduced. That's a huge draw for me. Now, next thing I wanna do here is uh, make a sacrifice to Ernalda. And I'll go ahead and make this the 14 cows, since I have cows to spare. We've learned the secrets of Ronaldo feeds the tribe. Okay, that works for me. Devotees of the cult of Yinkin, the god of links. Mr. Woods been infested with many types of rodents. Hmm. Well, I would like to avoid risk of disease. That sounds a good thing to me. So I'm going to owe him a favor. Hooray! Fire season! <laughs> Take it! Aim! Ready! Fire! I like the idea of raiding. Can I raid you? Can I raid you? We are feuding with you! Let's send the entire fucking army at you! That's the best idea ever! Good times. I like the idea of spending a magic point, sacrifice to the god of death, and charge! Hooray! Thank you. Look at all that plunder. Remember the last thing ring is like, fuck this! <laughs> we are donzies! Alright, well... I suppose I'll be kind enough to accept the tribute and vow to leave them alone for a while. I have no further need to kill them. 
And if they break it, mm -mm -mm. at least ten seasons. Ten seasons of not having to worry about them. If they raid me, they'll break it. But if I raid them, I will violate honor. And I will suffer penalties like losing clan magic. And that would be... Unfortuitous, tis, tis. I have a lot of cows. Uh, 36 hides of land. Barely got that. Yikes. Okay. I could reduce my cropland. But, uh, that would take a turn. I hate it whenever shit takes turns. It's so frustrating. It's like, fuck turns! You're right, we ought to establish a permanent trading route. I concur with your statement, lady. So let us go do that, then. Perhaps a permanent trade route with you, the brown brown boar? I believe I've tried that before. Ah, uh, well, no, no farm in trying it again. A plague has stricken your Tula. About 42 have caught the disease so far. They're weak and unable. They're feverish. Bargain with Malia is a deal with chaos. Malia is expensive, but gives results. Sacrifice cows, not much of your trade goods. The bay berries are our friends. They will help us. I will not propitiate the goddess of disease. That would be like calling upon Nurgle. That would be most unfortuitous. But I will uh, sacrifice to her at my temple and sacrifice 20 cows. So the signs were good. The merciful gods looked upon her sacrifice with favor. Oh, good. Phew. All right. Time for us to harvest our land and protect it. Shit. We need more weapon things. From, out, from outside the clan and offer additional gifts. A caravan is back. Ah, damn. No such luck. No, I don't need that many fucking inner guards. Are you nuts? There we go. We've diversified my numbers. Woo! Diversification! Sacrifice 14 cattle. Woot! Learn the workings of the blessed crops ritual. An old woman who introduces herself as Leica brings a baby to you. Hmm. I think I'll go ahead and adopt both the woman and the girl. We yeah, we were under no obligation to do so, but why the fuck not? Build temple. Less crops ritual, very good, very good. I can always use the additional food without a doubt. I was kind of hoping for a notification that says, well, we no longer have to worry about, you know, bullshit. So we can fucking, you know, raise shit now, but I have not quite gotten that notification yet. By like that, I mean raising, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and... We are the finest looking young woman of any clan. We are short of farmers, and I'm not exactly a fan of hunting anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut these guys out. Great warriors of the Death God, assemble. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and sacrifice on your behalf to your god. Hooray! I definitely have the cattle to spare, so it's alright. I'm definitely, well, due to losing uh, the bit of uh, cattle that I have, I've uh, decreased my need to have more pasture land, though I certainly will do so next year. Clan Mood is happy, that is very good. Hmm. I don't know what I'm expecting to do right now. Uh, sure, whatever it what is, it's fucking clever of me. I have no doubt in my mind. What kind of quest can I complete? What information do I have? Ernalda feeds the tribe. Orlantha and Oroka? Okay. Just those two. Ooh, sorry about that, folks. Had a sneeze coming on. Um, I suppose I can uh, 
cattle raid somebody else. I do have a new, um, I do have a new feud. Sweet! I've heard that the trolls are on the march again, but that's no reason for our explorers to split to plan so many trips but never go exploring. Basically, I haven't explored for a while. That's a shame on me. Oh! Yikes! I am outnumbered like fuck. Um, survival? Evade? No. CHARGE! Which a warhorn was buried by an ancient angel bound surface, but decided his father stand call him by name. Lead our warriors to victory. Ooh, yikes. We lo we we lost some units there, but we got some captives. And we will ransom them for forty five cows worth of goods. Very good, sir. It's a shame that that man got injured, but, well, such is life. Mmm. Get some more weapon things? I have more horses! Yay! The morale of the weapon things has suffered a blow. They heard that Coromar, feared satirist, the Genesti clan is planning to write a poem about their love affair with pigs. Oh ho 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 ho! Damn! <laughs> Douchebag! Anyway, it looks like that was a good year. I will go ahead and stop the recording. I'm liking this whole, whole episodic feature. It allows me to determine how long I want videos to be. And it uh, does a good job at preventing any potential problems with crashes. So, I'll talk to you in a few seconds. Onward we shall ride, folks, to the year 1339. Our god talkers predict a more or less normal harvest. They saw a great map painted by Lanker Mai and warned that another clan would great, gain great luck. Gain luck meant for us that we did not explore distant parts of Dragon Pass this year. I know what the fuck we're doing then. We're definitely going to right a wrong and go off exploring then. Uh, crops, herds, mysteries, two in there this time. Trade and war. I was thinking of doing a hero quest this turn, but I'll go ahead and lay off on that. This will be a good allotment. I'll keep some magic reserve just in case. Now, before I go off and exploring here, first thing I want to do is win some favor with Vinga here. I want the Pathfinder Blessing, which will enhance my explorers. And this will reduce the chances of them fucking dying, which would be nice. I would very much like to avoid that from happening. So. Let's go ahead and spin the magic hacks. And we oh, that's exactly what I wanted. Voskandora, the ranking Yeralda priestess, wants to marry one of the young men. One of your young men. She offers the clan chief a gift of 50 cows in addition to the dowry paid to his family. Has made his unwillingness to marry her clear. He claims that he made a pledge to a muse spirit that he would remain celibate so that his poetry would be remembered forever. Usually the woman moves to the clan of her new husband, but Voskandor says that the Vostenji can't spare. It is irregular, but not illegal. Yeah, I can't order. I, I can't order that. That would be against the right of the clan ring to do so. Uh, I will try persuasion, though. Would not be persuaded. Will not break a promise, even a promise made to an insubstantial spirit. <laughs> I can't order that. <sighs> well, I suppose I could. It is the matters of the clan ring to handle marriages and shit. Fifty cows is also pretty good, although I do have an excess of amount of cows. What I really like, though, is this whole forging alliance thing. You will marry this woman. 
The match was made, sealing an alliance between our two clans. The Carls were pleased by his prize gift to the clan, but the Weapon Thanes felt sorry for him. I did lose a Weapon Thane, but they still feel unshakable. That's good. Ah! Uh, what can I do here? I like the idea of sending um, them out to go to explore after I build my shrine. Alright, fire season. Fire season is a good time to travel. So let us send... Are you really the best person to send out? Well, you're on my fucking thing too, aren't you? I need somebody who's great at combat. You! Here we go, you're good at bargaining. Send you out. I choose you. Give you four weapon things. Travel slowly. And go explore like there. Thrall owned by the Grey Fox Clan stumbles onto your clan lands, begging for help. We realize that our lot in life is to serve, but we can no longer serve the Great Wolf. Incited a rebellion on the Grey Fox Tula. He and his fellow Thralls killed several Grey Foxes and fled to the woods. Outraged, Grey Fox Thanes are now pursuing them to seek vengeance. We capture Sartar, they will think well of us. No problem that cannot be solved with a liberal gift of cows. <laughs> it only cost us a mere five cows to buy each thrall, but since they need to be captured for any use, they, we can get them for far less. Our people have always opposed the taking of thralls. We should send a war party to intercept the Grey Fox Thanes. If we act in accordance with... Okay. Grey Foxes have offended us many times. We should do as much harm to them as possible. I like this whole idea of offering to buy them. So long as I have the option to free them in the future, that would be great. Uh, I'll go ahead and do that then. And you get to go along. How many warriors? She said she only needed a few. I'm going to go ahead and send four. Or, or Carla is told that there are five related stalls and that they are worth five cows apiece. Okay. Uh, I'll try to bargain it down, as she says. They're willing to accept as little as four cows per thrall. Sure. What do you do now that you own the thralls? Let them live free as outlaws. The people were glad. By rescuing unfortunate mistreated thralls, we honored our ancestors and strengthened our clan magic. During our absence, Sartar slipped away and rejoined his group. He and the other thralls soon melted into the landscape. We later heard that they migrated to parts unknown, after which no one ever heard anything more about them. Well, whether they lived or, lived or, li uh, lived or not, I can't say. But the fact is that I tried to help them. And that's what matters. Can I get more weapon things? I can. Let's recruit from outside the clan again. The exploration party returns with a legendary treasure of the first age. The Raven Banner. I remember finding this. When carried into a fight, this battle, battle standard guarantees victory. However, it does so at a great cost. The standard bearer is always killed. <laughs> I could bring it and attempt the form piece. Although it is always good to get more cows, our herds are currently large and healthy. Hmm. Goddamn trickster. Are you all mad? Of course we should keep the legendary treasure. We shall. Then. Hmm. Well, that was an exploration party that went out. That's cool. But we should send out another one. We'll wait, though, until Earth season passes. I think that's a safe idea. Let's go ahead and uh, make ourselves another sacrifice. Uh, see if we can win the friendship of anybody. I could sacrifice to the trickster god. Nah, that'd be silly. Who do I feel like sacrificing to, though? Hmm. Tracking could be useful. I don't think I can build a shrine to him, though. Urox? I don't know. I think I want to get some more benefits from my marketing and trading and shit, so I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice to Asari's here. 
Woot! Silver tongue. The nobles of the apples recently averted a feud with the turtle clan. We should remember the possible advantages of sending emissaries to our neighbors. One of your weapon thanes appears before the clan and recounts an incident. When I was just a child, my I remember this one. I've seen this one before. I scroll through that so you folks can read it. Um, I'm not gonna launch a raid against the Bayberries, and I, yeah, I, cause it's that we have no case against them. However, I will allow Rostikos to pursue private vengeance against them because this is this should not be taken care of during harvest time. You gather weapon thanes of this clan and friendly warriors from other clans too. They raided the Tula of the Bayberries, seized those two, threw them upon a bonfire, and would not let them off it until they were burnt to the bones. Soon a Bayberry delegation arrives, demanding Weregild for the deaths of their two weapon thanes. They'd asked for 40 cows. They have more of a case against us. Wait a second. Hmm. I would like to, instead, offer them 20 cows instead. They grudgingly agreed to this, the people grumbled for a while about the price paid, but soon went on to grumble about other things. Okay. Helps out traders and negotiations, that'd be sweet. I'm totally all for that. So let's go ahead and... maybe not. Do I not have... I have the goods required! Not enough worshippers to support improvements. Ah, okay. That explains it. I should be able to fucking play with these goddamn settings now. It's only... It's been five years. What the fuck? I think I'll give it one more year. And in 1340, I'm just gonna fucking throw it out the goddamn window. Wait, it's 1339. If it happened in 1330. No, I'll go ahead and wait until 1340, and then I seriously will throw it in the goddamn bus. Uh. Hmm. No. I don't want to do any of that nonsense. Can I send out another exploration party? Sure. Uh. Send out a minimum amount of footmen, but weapon things. The harvest was typical this year, however the sacred time rituals we performed for our crops had little effect. The exploration mission to the northwest has returned, and I've seen this one before. I would like to send a party to steal the statue. And I will go ahead and send this guy. And we will send the entire house to steal it. <laughs> Because that's what you do in this situation, right? You send the entire house to steal something. Of course! That's a sneaky party, right? They found the statue. There are many more dragon than we expected. They held us off. Okay. So, yes. We ended up getting the statue. A mysterious statue. I'm not... I don't know what it does. But I knew that it existed. Now, here we go. Off into uh, dark season again. Rabbit season! Dark season. Now I was told to continue exploring lands far away from me. I shall see what I can do about that. Ah, there are the woodpeckers. Those fuckers. <laughs> nope, I'm gonna go ahead and pick you again. Go ahead and send six weapon things, and off you go over here. We're being raided by the trolls! Those fuckers. Drive them off and charge! I outnumber them. Why does that not convince me? Let's use another magic point. Hooray! Our magic blew away theirs. Whew. We did lose some people, though. That shit's to be expected. Hopefully, by the way, that guy I sent doesn't die. I kind of sent him during a bad time. I did, I did. Be unfortuitous if he were to die. Unfortuitous. That's a good balance. I'm not exactly sure what I want to do with this turn. Let's hold ourselves another feast, folks. 
invite neighbors. After examining the statue of the Silver Dragon, I am ready to say this. I don't quite know what it is, but I do know that it is powerful magic. Don't let anyone talk us into selling it or giving it away. I think it will help us more than we realize. Exploring in the Northeast, your exploration party is attacked by a bandit gang led by a powerful shaman. I've seen this one, too. Well, what I'm going to do here is seek the blessings of my clan spirits before fighting the shaman. I'm going to go ahead and uh, expend 20 cattle as well as 20 goods. They said they would aid us against the spirits. Good. Send a war party. Combat, you shall lead it. And you will skip every fucking buddy. A war party was seized by invisible spirits and attacked one another. What? Wow. God damn it. <laughs> Did everything right, even sent the entire fucking house. Traders from the Bearberry Clan come to complain about the outcome of a recent trade deal. Legally, we are not responsible. That's my opinion. I concur with you. We are not fucking responsible. The easily cited precedents that disproved our case. Mmm. Apparently renowned custom isn't fucking good enough. Wait, who made this trade deal? <laughs> you! You son of a bitch! It is wrong to spread disease. Their quarrel is with him, not with us. I told Jarstikos not to uh, trade the herd. They accepted only grudgingly, and they would compose a poem about our scraping ways. Oh well, shit happens. Well, let us send out another exploration party. Party! Not you. You. Uh, let's go ahead and send out six weapon things here. Travel slowly. And this time, adventure off into Never Ever Land. Right here. Oh, and that takes care of it. We're in sacred time now, folks. So I suppose that takes care of the video. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have sent out that party. Oh well, shit happens. They've been sent. Still produced more than I ate. You know, I am losing food due to spoilage, but I'm having a nice balance there. 14 people, fewer, I lost more cattle, but I had a lot of cows. Next time, though, I'm fucking increasing my goddamn pasture. Fuck that fox. 1340, here we come. They were a little surprised to report that they saw few arguments within the clan. Cool. I have lots of magic points now, folks. Lots and lots of magics. It's a nice change from uh, what we were experiencing before, right, folks? Go ahead and allot some of the mysteries. I'm not exactly a huge fan of spending on children, mainly because I don't like them to fucking grow so much. It could be really dangerous. War. Health. Again, I shall neglect quests. Exploring the north, once again, I'm attacked by this shit. Seek the blessings. Let's try this again, folks. Come on. Okay, send a war party. Send the entire fucking house. Hooray! Problem solved. Day saved, thanks to the power puff. And by the way, yeah. Fuck this douchebag. Who's got the infos? You got the infos? 35 hides of land? Nope, we're increasing that to 60. Yeah. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Oops. And if that fucking fox complains, I don't know. I could have sworn it said five years. Maybe he's like, FOREVER! <laughs> I'm, I think I'm gonna go ahead and I'll actually kill some sheep. You know, you don't want to kill a sheep because you sacrifice those things, but seriously. I got enough sheep, folks. Let's get down on our numbers here a bit. And we'll go ahead and kill some, uh, pigs, too. 
I know, I go ahead and kill sheep now. There will probably come a fucking time whenever I'm gonna wish I didn't do that. And I'll be like, son of a bitch! Okay, that's good. Good, 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 good! It's good! We're still in the sea. Oh my god! <laughs> Patrol properly! Ah! Hmm. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Splendid, confident, and unshakable. Great! I think I'm actually going to see what I can do about attracting more farmers to my land. To my place. With the people. So I'm going to bribe them. Anybody who wishes to come. I offer you land and cattle. Anybody. Followers of the Hunter God appear before you. We will gather many other devotees and will form a ritual that increases the availability of the game in the area. Mm, nah, I'm gonna go ahead and refuse you. Okay. Do I feel like having another harvest? Uh, not a harvest, but a feast? I don't think so, no. But it is fire, which means it's potential raid time, folks. Raiding can be fun. Funsies! Funsies? Funsies! We were able to attract 98 new Carls to the clan. They brought with them 58 children. Good. Food situation seems okay. What am I looking at here? I could handle another 50 hides! <laughs> That's what I want to read. We can only handle that much output. Oh man, I forgot. Gems. Gems. I think I'm gonna go ahead and increase my uh, crafters here anyway, even though she's like, we can only handle so much. Because I forgot I found gems. One of your carls is caught with a secret supply of clear wine. Mmm. This infraction infringes on the traditional rights and privileges of the ring. That is not cool. Oh, and by the way, part of his punishment should involve our drinking his wine. I agree with my leader here. Shame him! Shame! Shame! You have been shamed! Okay. And I can still handle a few more hides. That's cool with me. Maybe something like 150? Because I'm gonna need more food for sure. It's true. And 155. Increase this back to 60. Because attracting all those people means that I do need more food on my side. Alrighty, and I guess another thing that I should do is, oh yeah, I can build new new shrines and shit. True story. Reason why is because I have more worshippers now. Those are always fucking handy. Oh, who might I want to build something to? No, not you. I think it was Asari's that I wanted to build another thing to? I like the idea of a swine blessing, though. That can really be handy. And trying to learn sun will be pretty sweet, too. Uh, hmm. Don't know. Let's see what I can do by sacrificing to... Bubblegum, bubblegum, in a dish. How many pieces do you wish? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and sacrifice Dronada. Learn all of her secrets! Woot! Suddenly, there are snakes everywhere. They are in the grain bins, under beds, in the rafters. They crawl into any open space. They scare the cattle. This is worse than a nuisance. It is a plague. Eh. We shouldn't squander cows on such a minor threat. Organize, the, organize a snake hunt. Snake is a cre tricky creature. Whatever you do, don't listen to the trickster. The story said that or Arnaldo protects us from snakes. Gotta go in and organize a snake hunt, I think. 
We labor laboriously eradicated the pest, or Carla showed us how to make attractive items from snakeskin. She took them and traded them to the other clans, and we enriched ourselves. Cool. We turned a negative into a positive. Now let's go ahead and construct. You must construct this great temple. Great temple, get! Now, how, ma how many resources am I expending? 19 cows, 45 sheep, 20 pigs, and 60 goods to the gods each year. Steep. But I think the next thing that I want to learn is sun. The sun axe. So I will go ahead and try to do that. If I may, Elmal. Horse friend. Not quite what I was going for. Difficult to say for certain, but somebody tells me that your instead claim is jest. Oh man. You're in stand, rather. You're in. <laughs> Isn't that called a urinal? <laughs> I'm going to die. Uh... What do the rest of you think? Violence is always an option. The amount of pasture in question means much. There's much personal animosity in this dispute. Each person is more interested in being proven right. Getting them drunk and then moving all the boundary stones in the <laughs> Tell them to resolve the dispute by arm wrestling. <laughs> say for certain, but something tells me that... You see, I can't trust that. Just a hunch. I don't care if you have renowned custom, bro. I like this. Several attempts at arm wrestling disintegrate into fist fights. No thanks. After prying the two farmers apart from one time too many, we still in Tarling's favor. No one was happy at the outcome. Well, that's how you know you've done something right, folks. Whenever nobody is happy. Can I do it myself another sacrifice here? Steadfast ritual. None of those things I wanted! The turtles have a new chief. She is known for her reverence and mercy. Okay, we are now in the storm season. Storm? Pans? Dreams? We don't have enough oxen! We don't have enough cattle! Not enough cattle! You must construct additional cattle! All right, all right. Let's go construct additional cattle, folks. Hooray! Uh-oh. The Lysangs. I could have sworn I'd made peace with them. Oh, well. That's why I hadn't attacked them. Uh, I outnumber them. Let's go ahead and spend two magic points. Sacrifice. Ouch! Damn it. Two magic points didn't help me at all. Disturbing thing happened when I went to visit the Squad Oak Tula. I was jeered and insulted. The people they there proved difficult to bargain with. They seem to think that we have allied ourselves with their ancestral foes. Things from... Ah, fucking woodpeckers! <laughs> Goddamn woodpeckers are fucking trolling me! <laughs> oh, well... 189 more people, folks. We have ourselves a great land, and we will extract our vengeance upon many people, <laughs> including the woodpeckers. Alrighty, I think that's enough of a break. Let us jump on into 1341. Our god talkers say they sense that other clans would form bad opinions of us no matter how generous we are. That's not good. Okay, herds, crops, Mysteries, war, trade, health, diplomacy, and quest. Full bank of shit this game, folks. Well, this year, rather. I still have magic to spare. That's good. Questing, yeah, I'm actually going to show off the hero quest uh, option this game and hope that, well, not this game, but this year, and hope that uh, I don't die in the process. Dar, the prosperous Carl of our clan, whose horse was once stolen, has died. Perhaps it shall end the feud. 
So yeah, hero questing is the most dangerous thing you can do in this game. It uh, is most certainly unfortuitous. Uh, let me see here. I certainly can't build any more shrines or temples or shit like that. But it might be helpful to sacrifice to gain some blessings and stuff. For example, I'd like to know more about, uh... You know, Lankermai. Let us learn more about you and your cheats. Learn the Literacy Ritual. One of the giant reptiles called Earthshakers galumphs onto your Tula, intent on eating your crops. Renatha manages to herd it away from the barley, but now it's crashed into a stead. Use magic to dry it off, drive it off, give it hay to eat. Yeah, we can easily get rid of it by feeding it, but then it will want to come back. It's not good. Our magic is strong, but I've been through this before. Like, whenever I play my short game, I use magic to drive it off, and then derp -a -derp -a -derp, I'm back. Which frustrated the piss out of me. It ignored their cries and the cl their clatterings of swords on shields. Fine! Use two magic points for that bullshit fucking game! Sacrifice again to Lankermar. Ah! Boo! Confuse visions, boo! Alright, we're into fire now. Fire! I don't know. What is the right answer? Oh, we need more cows. That's the fucking right answer. I sing? Damn it! Run away! <laughs> Yay! I lost two footmen, though. Born Gold, the willful child of Will, like Carl's, has a history of making trouble, but now he has done the unthinkable. He has desecrated your Orlant temple throwing cow dung all over the holy shrines. Oh, man. Let his kinfolk deal with it, but he has not yet been initiated and is not responsible for his actions. Or I could outlaw him. I don't give a fuck to see he's possessed, but we will conduct an additional powerful temple purification ritual. And we're going to go ahead and sacrifice. 30 goods here. It was not fully purified. We would have to suffer the indignation of the gods. Great. I guess I should have sacrificed 30 cattle instead. Fucking game. Ha! Ah, cattle raid on you! Yes! Our Alor patrol spotted a cattle raid by the Lysangs. What? Charge! Use a magic point. Sacrifice. Of course we lose! Yay! Losing is for losers. <sighs> Fuck you, Lysangs! Alright. I'll make them pay for it eventually. But for now, I guess I could raid them now. I could keep going for cattle raids. Nobody would expect it during, during this time. Beach! Group of ragged outlaws demands your ha hospitality. Derp -a -derp -a -derp -a -derp. Oh, I could uh, offer them gifts if they threaten another clan instead. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that could be fun. I would like you folks to deal with the Lysang, please. What do you offer them? I offer you. Fifteen heads of cattle. They accept the proposal even before we finished making it. They tended to thank us generously for the gift, but the effect was ruined by their uncontrolled dual drilling. The day departed and the people complained that it was a good idea, but the outlaws were such wretches they would have worked for less. Oh well. I guess fifteen cows was too excessive. But I did it anyway. We don't have enough cattle! You're right. Cattle raid! Ah, nobody expects a cattle raid during Earth season! The harvest was typical for this year, however, our sacred time rituals for the crops and herds both seem to have failed. Yikes. Not a cool game. Okay, now that we are in the darkness, I think it's time for me to 
attempt this very dangerous hero quest. I think the only two I have unlocked are Ernalda Feeds the Tribe and Orlanth and Aroka. Okay. I hate these things. They're so dangerous. You can get yourself killed. You can get your followers killed. You can have bad things brought upon you. Truly they are dangerous, but you have to complete them in order to win the game. You need to do the making of the Storm Tribe, and then for a short game, you have to do like at least three other hero quests after you make a tribe. <sighs> Shit. Well, let's go ahead and show you guys the myth that we're going to be following. Uh, I already know how the myth goes, so I'm going to quickly scroll through this. I already know the answers, because I've done the myth before. But for everyone who wants to have completeness here, I'll go ahead and show the myth to you. Now, how this basically works is that, through a bunch of worshipping power, your chosen man is propelled to the realm of the gods, and by successfully enacting the hero quest, you can achieve something. Now, even if you pick the fucking correct answers, even if you know the myth forwards and backwards, you can still fail. Seriously, how the fuck do you do something whenever all the answer choices are wrong? It can be really frustrating, and it certainly was. Uh, whenever I played this game a few days ago. Really pisses you off. And it really tempts you to just fucking save and load. It's like, god damn that shit. Fuck Iron Man. Because having, like, your most powerful person in the game, like, the most important person in your entire clan ring killed just like that, it's bullshit. That's like, come the fuck on, oh, it's due to the gods, they had no favor, or some shit like that. He wasn't worthy enough. Fuck you! The fuck you wasn't worthy enough? You suck a dick. Fuck a duck or some shit like that, I don't know. And that's another dangerous thing, you see, cause I'm going to send my fucking clan chief on this one, who follows Orlanth. Anything you do in this game has a greater success rate if you have somebody in your clan ring do it. Sure, I could send other followers of Orlanth, but they're not even they might not even be fucking accepted into the realm of the gods. So I'm going to go ahead and call upon my allies to help me, and Robosart, and away we go. Robosart into the place of the gods with the help of 50, 50 allies. My benefit is to gain a magical treasure. Now the Ornaldo Priestess, I'm going to go ahead and scroll for this so you folks can read. Okay. Now, I already know the answer to this one. The answer choice is one. Obasart goes to fight Daga in the place of the gods. Daga has no substance to strike, nor force to scatter. I shall take a few blows from Daga, and then flee. Bravely run away! Now, Robosart learns that there is a secret weapon to use against Daga, the rain god, Heller. And Heller is trapped in the belly of Aroka the dragon. And on my way to that dragon, I am ambushed by other enemies. I'm going to attempt to beat the enemies and take something from each one. Whew, that's a tough part to get past. That part in this quest fucks me over the most. Like, I'll fucking get wounded and chased off by the troll, or the bad wind will fucking blow me out of the realm. The third enemy is the mysterious Dark Woman. Does Robosart try to fight the Dark Woman or try to seduce her? Seduce. Robosart showed the souls of his feet to the Dark Woman, so that she was unable to resist his progenitive powers. They laid together, and as they did so, the Dark Woman cried out that he was leaving a child within her. That's <laughs> I think that's my favorite part in any hero quest I've done thus far in this game. Seriously. It's awesome. Now we have here, at a potential ad-living moment, some of these fucking hero quests throw goddamn curveballs at you. What is that fucking noise outside? I'm going to ignore it and pretend it doesn't exist. I think it's the fucking uh, high school stadium. Um, anyway, uh... Yes. So, uh, in these situations, you have to add live and pick what you think is the best. In this case, storm bulls can come in handy sometimes. Follow me! And when Robostart arrives for the fight against Aroka, he's surprised to see many chaos creatures swarming towards him. I knew this happened now that there's death and chaos in the world. Go and fight Aroka, and I'll fight them off. And I'll do as Stormbull says. <sighs> At last, Robostart finds the lair of Aroka. He uses the things he brought with him, 
and the things he took from the enemies he bested along the way. He uses them to fight the dragon. I've had, I've gotten to the end of this before, and the fucking dragon ends up completely rending the person apart and kills him outright. Fucking pisses me off. But first, Aroga opened its eyes to destroy the mind of Orlanth. The storm god released the four winds, and each of them cast its weapon into an eye of the dragon, blinding it. Aroga lashed out with its tongues. Orlanth released the upper winds, and this dried out the snaking enemy. Aroga roared out its fatal breath, but Orlanth captured it inside the magical sack of winds and threw it away. Then Orlanth strode into its mouth and seized the upper jaw with his hands and placed his foot against its lower jaw and with a shout of victory tore the dragon asunder. A great flood of blood, water, and mead swept over the land. Inside was the rain god, who was his friend afterwards. The rain god was set against Daga and Orlanth went too, pounding the land and covering it with rain. Orlanth captured Daga and put him in a jar. Soon, Ernalda was nourishing again, and Drought was banished. Robosart successfully completed the hero quest, and was cheered by all. Robosart brought a number of items back from the place of the gods. Which one do you inspect first? All these items, to my knowledge, will be magical. Yeah, but it's only the first one you inspect that ends up having the magic hacks. Um... I really like the bread. And I like the bag with Orlanthi ruins on it more, so I'm gonna go and pick that one first. And it's actually the bag of winds. And now we're being raided by the trolls, so actually it's gonna end up helping out. I'm gonna go ahead and use four magic points, sacrifice, and dry them off if I can. Trolls attack while we were still sacrificing. Orkala dodges a tr dark troll's berserker charge and collects her witch for the fight to come. How should she fight? Fight bravely. Woohoo! Nice! Fuck you, trolls! Really hurt the trolls there. Good job. Now, the Bag of Winds helps in that it helps drive off foes when we're raided. Like us all. Good job, Orcarla. I'm very pleased with the, the combat skills of my people. Although they could be better. And we are now in the treacherous storm season! I would like to attempt another cattle raid, if I may. Perhaps on the... My saying, sweet! We're being raided by the Varmati. Oh my! Well, I'm not gonna sacrifice this time, but I will try to take captives and charge. Varmati had burned three steads before we mustered our warriors. We rushed them, though, while they're still sacrificing to the gods. Vandal can see the runes of our war magics humming in the air, his tattoos pulse with magical power. Fight bravely. I don't like to take insane risk unless the combat skills like renowned or heroic. Let's not go crazy, but took a sling stone in the forehead. Oh well, we still won. But we weren't able to take any captives. Ouch! They barely took any fucking casualties! Come on, game! The Squad Oak Market, your traders are alarmed to see members of your clan bullying Squad Oak traders. This ruined any chance of making good deals once word of this incident gets around. They figure it'll hurt your trading relations. Ha 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 ha, not cool. They have brought us one step closer to a fu feud with the Squad Oak clan. Like most bullies, they are not as good at fighting as they would have you believe confiscation. We cannot lose these great warriors to another clan. People have been outlawed for lesser offenses. I will outlaw them. The people were unhappy. They said their offense did not merit such a harsh punishment. Soon we heard that they had been adopted as weapons by our foes, the Varmandi, and looked forward to taking vengeance on us. Whatever. That's cool. I'll get some new people. Hooray! Wait, didn't I have, like, something else I wanted to do? Did I make varying sacrifices to learn? Okay, Link or my. This is like my final opportunity to do shit, isn't it? I am like, try a raid. I can raid one last time. Recruit more weapon things or raid? Who attacked me last? Varmandi? Okay. You fuckers want to get revenge? Well, let's fucking do this shit then. You wanted to fucking throw down? Why the fuck didn't you say so? One, two, three, four. Plunder! Uh, 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 Weapon 
things killed. Two? Huh? Huh? Oh. Fuck. You. <laughs> Alright, folks. Wasn't that fun? 19 more people, 77 more head of cattle, 9 more horses, and 7 more sheep. Still producing more food than I'm losing, even to combined eating and spoilage. And I'm continuing to produce a nice amount of goods. And I extracted my vengeance upon those douchebags. Alright! Successful hero quest out of the way. Thank Orlans.